uh, your business into virtualization, uh, ships from the HP factory in a box, and it just rolls out onto your floor and helps you get started in virtualization very quickly. So, I'm going to go through the slides here. I want to talk a little bit about why we see people going into virtualization uh, and some of the dangers involved in that or some of the pitfalls that people are running into, and then talk about how HP Virtual System helps them uh, get a running start into virtualization. Different aspects of HP Virtual System that make it special, what we feel make it special, and the, the core technology behind the entire HP Virtual System solution. Talk a little bit about the different configurations, and then talk about some of the services we have wrapped around that as well. Okay. So what we've seen from a lot, of, uh, a lot of customers, a lot of people we've spoken to, a lot of analysts, is that virtualization is really kind of past that threshold point where more and more people are doing it. Uh, you, you look at uh, the sprawl of physical servers in the data center, and as people start to add more and more uh, requirements on their IT department, you have to start to find deploying more and more equipment. As you get more virtual um, requirements coming in, it's because physical server sprawl has reached a point where people either don't have the space uh, to add more physical servers or they don't have the management capabilities to add more physical servers into their environment. So we start looking at virtualization as a way to cut back on some of those, uh, those pitfalls of, of uh, physical server sprawl. Uh, where that really gets scary, if you can imagine having to manage hundreds of physical servers, when you have dozens to hundreds of virtual machines on each of those physical servers, it becomes even more of a headache. So HP has tried to, to take some steps to help alleviate a bit of that pain uh, for the IT uh, uh, customers out there in our customer base. Okay, what we see as a, a big driver for virtualization is you have all these uh, physical servers each running a single application. With virtualization, you can fit several virtual machines onto a physical server and have different applications running on each of those. So you cut down on the amount of power and space required for all of those applications, but you, you haven't cut down on any of the management requirements for those. In fact, you might have added requirements into uh, to your IT uh, department. Uh, it makes it hard to scale quickly and to, uh, to take on new challenges when you're stuck still trying to deploy new equipment or new virtual machines and you don't have a lot of help in, in getting that going. So what we've done at HP is we've looked at all of the products in our, our portfolio, in our enterprise uh, servers, storage, and networking portfolio, and our, and our software portfolio. We've taken the best of class products in there, and we've built some systems that are a good starting point for companies that are just getting into the arena of virtualization or cloud. And I'm going to talk specifically about the virtual system today, but we also have some other products in our portfolio, uh, some other solutions uh, like the cloud system or the blade system matrix that are available from HP as well. Uh, when we look at our storage capabilities, we have uh, uh, arrays uh, that can scale from the very low end to the mid-range up to the enterprise size. Uh, when we look at our servers, our ProLiant servers, uh, we are best in class in that platform uh, across the industry. Our networking with the, uh, the HP networking, it's a combination of our legacy code curve and our 3 uh, product line, and the HP software to manage all of that. Uh, our systems insight manager, our integration with the different uh, hypervisor vendors, uh, those are all the, the points that HP brings to the table in the solution. So what we've done, with all of those products, that we've, we've built the virtual system. And this is a product that we've designed to allow you to, to pick and choose the, the point where you want to enter into this, uh, this product line. You can start at the, the, um, the low end with still rack-optimized servers and with uh, an iSCSI storage solution. And you can scale up to larger blade environments where you're deploying more servers and more virtual machines 
uh, and also adding in uh, the benefits of, of the higher end storage arrays uh, with the thin permissioning capabilities of our three par array with the uh, multi tenancy aspects that are, that are built in there. Uh, you have security aspects we have with our tipping point software solutions, part of our networking team. Uh, you have all of the HP Flex Network capabilities that we uh, heard about at the show this, this week. Uh, and you have management capabilities with HP Insight software. And you have your choice of hypervisors. We work with VMware, with Microsoft, and with Citrix. So the idea is that you'll be able to scale based on the model you choose. You can scale up if you need to add capacity for more virtual servers or even virtual clients. Uh, you can scale out by adding more of these products into the line. Uh, you get to choose which of the virtual ecosystems you work in. You're not locked into a single choice when you go with the HP solution. You can pick a virtual system that's uh, the same for VMware. You can add another one into your environment that's running Hyper-V, or you can go with the, the Citrix uh, uh, Zen desktop solution. And as you deploy this, HP puts all the pieces together for you, puts in all the software configuration for you in the factory or on your floor, rolls it out, and gets you up and running very quickly so that you can work on adding the, the value to the system uh, without having to go through the nitty-gritty details of matching up the physical hardware, the different software versions, and, and so forth. So these are uh, a lot of the pitfalls that people face as they start to get into virtualization, is trying to understand which servers to choose, which, uh, which host bus adapters to put in there, what other pieces and parts they have to put together, which software versions are required, uh, which will play together well. It's like when you're trying to write a story, you, you look at a blank sheet of paper, it's a little more intimidating than if you have an outline in place for you that you can use to start writing from there. So what HP has done is we've provided with our virtual system a starting point for people to hit the ground running. So you're not locked into the whole design phase of how you're going to roll out this architecture into your environment. We've done a lot of the, uh, the pre-work for you you just have to choose the model where you want to start, and then scale up from there, uh, and, and then just start adding the value and getting getting running with it much quicker, and start adding value for your customers or for your, your clients. So what makes it special besides the HP logo on the front? So one thing is the performance capabilities. Our ProLiant servers have been measured uh, faster in many of the standard performance tests in the industry with uh, their capability of uh, the, the backplanes, the motherboards, the throughput of the, the uh, memory architecture, and so forth. Um, the deep hypervisor integration, so we've been working with, with uh, VMware for over a decade now, with Microsoft for, for years, uh, with Citrix for a long time as well. Uh, so we've been working with them on uh, both uh, support for current products, but also roadmap integration. So, we're very, uh, very well integrated with the hypervisor vendors. And multi-tenant capability, so the ability to have uh, multiple uh, resources uh, being split between multiple departments or customers or, or even different companies on a single piece of hardware, uh, both on the, on the server side and on the storage side, we have this capability built in. Uh, best of breed, so I think when you look at our ProLiant servers, uh, we've uh, gotten um, multiple um, uh, proof points to the, the reliability of those servers, to the, uh, the, the value of those servers in the environment. The, the work we've done with, with those virtualization partners, if you look at, at who's the leading uh, companies in those industries, we have VMware, we have Microsoft, we have Citrix all in our portfolio for virtual systems. The HP Converged Infrastructure is something we've been talking about for a couple of years now. And when we talk about the ability to have a single vendor provide not just the servers, but the networking, the storage, and the software to bring it all together, uh, that's a very powerful story. And as time goes by, we're finding fewer and fewer companies are able to, to even claim that as a proof point. Uh, 
but we're actually starting to productize this conversion infrastructure now. When we first started talking about it, it was a concept of having a single vendor source for all of this. And we would, we would always hear jokes about customers saying, well, give me three of those converged infrastructures. About a year ago, maybe a year and a half, we rolled out the Blade System Matrix, which was, in effect, a Blade uh, a converged infrastructure as a product. Because we had our, our servers, we had our storage, we had our networking, all as a single product that you could order from HP. Virtual system is an evolution on top of that, where it's really designed to optimize your path into a virtual environment. So it's not necessarily each each blade is a physical server, but you can have multiple virtual machines on it. Cloud system is another example of, of the conversion infrastructure as a product. And then with our, our inside software, with our a lot of our uh, networking management software, you see ways to manage these products uh, cohesively in single panes. You can plug into the, the hypervisor's uh, 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 control system, uh, whether it's vSphere or, or something from Microsoft or from Citrix. Uh, and you manage it through a single pane rather than having to log into several different management utilities to put this all together. Plus, we're trying to, to not lock you into a single uh, architecture. We're using open standards so that you can plug in existing pieces from your, your uh, infrastructure today into the virtual system and still utilize those resources. If you decide to, to move up from virtual systems into a cloud type, a private cloud environment, you're not locked into an HP solution. You can use, say, a, a deep cloud deployment and just pull the virtual system into that. So our goal at HP is to, to have you locked in by choice rather than by uh, hard and fast requirements built into to what we uh, sold you in the past. So when we, we look at, uh, say, um, the VCD block comparison, when you look at our networking capabilities, we're looking at the ability to do uh, twice the performance and consume half the power in doing that. When you look at our, our compute power, say comparing our, our BL460 blade to, uh, to the Cisco um, uh, blade that they're using in the D-Block, uh, we get three times the item throughput, so we can have three times the number of virtual machines on the server. They max out around 33, we can get 100 on ours. Uh, we can put twice the memory in there. We have the same number of, of uh, Dims, but we can have larger dim sizes in our, in our reliant uh, blade systems. Uh, at the storage, you can have uh, you can cut your costs in half, and you can do about 10x the management capability just because of the capabilities of the storage. And the way we do that is with the thin provisioning built into both the, the P4000 left-hand products and the three-par arrays that we make as part of the virtual systems. Uh, you can over-provision or oversubscribe your storage within provisioning, and you can cut down on the amount of actual hardware you have to buy initially and as upgrades due to that thin provisioning. The autonomic management capabilities of the three-par array allow you to do a lot more without having to actively manage that disk array storage. And the virtual ecosystem, you're not locked into VMware as your only choice. You have also the capability to choose Microsoft or Citrix. If you look historically over who is shipping uh, the, the most in the way of servers that are deployed in virtual environments, uh, HP has clearly uh, had a, a bit of history here and a bit of experience. So we, we feel we're a market leader here, and I think these numbers kind of bear that out. And looking at performance, so these are some published numbers from the various vendors. and. As you might guess, uh, we're looking pretty good there on the reliance side as well, compared to uh, what some of some of our competitors are doing performance-wise. So these aren't tests that we are able to really rig to make make our products look better. These are our standard uh, industry tests that are being run across all the hardware. So choosing the right configuration, we have three models in the virtual system family. We have the VS1, 
where you can you can scale up to about 750 virtual machines. That's built. It's based on on.